Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a bread and butter type meniscus tear we see over and over again. So it's a, just a good example of this. So when you see this uh, recurring pattern, you can just quickly mention it and move on to the next finding. So this is the lateral meniscus, looks normal. The medial meniscus though is small and irregular. And if we look more closely, we see that the meniscus has a oblique tear, or maybe a horizontal oblique tear here, and the undersurface component is right here, this vertical band. So there's a torn undersurface fragment that's flipped outwards, and now it's vertical and it extends downward. So this area along the tibia outside here, we call this the meniscotibial recess. So I'd say there's a torn meniscus with a flipped meniscus fragment, which extends into the meniscotibial recess. And then boom, move to the next thing. Now in these patients, they always have a tear of their meniscocapsular junction. The meniscus body is adherent to the inner fibers of the medial collateral ligament. We call them the inner capsular fibers or joint capsule. And so they have a tear of the meniscocapsular junction and tear of these inner capsular fibers because that meniscus is torn outwards. It's adherent. And you can see over here the outer fibers of the medial collateral ligament are nice and thick. Those are intact. And that's it. So a, a horizontal or oblique tear of the meniscus body with flipped undersurface meniscus fragment which extends into the meniscotibial recess and associated tear, the medial meniscal capsular junction, and that's it. They also have some thinning of the articular cartilage since the meniscus is not doing its job. There's abnormal wear and tear here, so they have loss of articular cartilage, and that's it. So remember that pattern, and thank you very much.